Well, the events of the past week have been some of the craziest that I've ever experienced in crypto. And I've been an investor since mid 2017. So it's been about five years now. But what we have seen over the past seven days is just absolutely insane. So for starters, the macro environment was already not favorable for cryptocurrency because the QQQ and the S&P 500 were nosediving and cryptocurrency has been actually relatively correlated with those recently. But when you add on top of that, the explosion of a top 10 cryptocurrency, 99.99% down over the span of a couple of days, it has just absolutely cratered the entire crypto market. And I'm really actually still kind of dumbfounded by it. But if we look at this chart here, you can see that just a week ago, the total market cap of the cryptocurrency sector was around $1.8 trillion. And that crashed all the way down to 1.14 trillion. So that means that almost $700 billion of value evaporated. Now it's recovered a little bit to about one point three trillion dollars but we're still down 500 billion dollars in market cap in under a week which is absolutely insane and this means honestly that a lot of normal people's money has just gone up in smoke now while part of this downturn is definitely cyclical and related to macro factors like rising inflation and tightening of interest rates and also the fact that equity markets across the board have been way way down what we're looking at here is mainly the result of the implosion of the terra luna ecosystem and the ust algo stablecoin because as you can see here it was maintaining its peg to the US dollar until May 9th. And as soon as UST started to lose its peg on May 9th, hit the fan because investors and normal people across the board started to lose faith in the Terra Luna ecosystem and the fact that Terra USD or ticker symbol UST would actually maintain its peg to the US dollar. And so what you see here with these waves is essentially short sellers trying to drive down the price then the Luna Foundation Guard trying to bid it back up by deploying their reserves. And they had Ether and Bitcoin in the reserves, as well as a few other alt L1s and some other assets as well. But essentially, the battle continued on for about a day. At that point, however, it was depegged for long enough that I think this essentially started a bank run where normal everyday people started wanting to pull their money out because they no longer trusted the system. And when that start happens, you have these cascading impacts where really it's gonna be impossible for the team behind Terraform Labs and the Terra Luna ecosystem to actually save it. And as the price continues to fall, then there's gonna be liquidations of people that were leveraged up who were invested in this Ponzi scheme with borrowed money on margin. And when those liquidation events started to happen, then it set off the death spiral from which you can see that it has been impossible to recover. Now, this is the chart for UST, but if we look at the price chart for Luna or the Terra token, which is the token for the Luna blockchain, and we look at that on the seven day chart, you can see that it is down 99.99% over the last week. So basically it's gone to zero. As of the time of this recording, it's still technically trading for a fraction of a penny, but this is basically going to zero or it is at zero. And if we zoom out this chart to the one month or even put it in the log scale, you can see just how quickly the fan and this just collapsed completely to the point where anybody who had money in Luna well, that money is basically gone now. And what's crazy is that between Luna and the UST stablecoin, we're talking about tens of billions, potentially even up to $100 billion of total value that has been evaporated because also they built a Ponzi scheme like um, yield generating protocol called Anchor on top of this. And of course that has blown up as well. And so as a result of all of this, the broader market sell off that was already happening was worsened and was quickened. And that's how we see hundreds of billions of dollars of value evaporating in the span of a few days time. Since the Luna Foundation had to deploy their reserves to try and save the UST peg to the US dollar, that meant that they were dumping Bitcoin and Ether and other cryptocurrencies on the market, which drove down the price because there was massive selling pressure. I think they sold something like $3 billion worth of Bitcoin over the past few days. And with that downward pressure, there was those liquidations again, like I mentioned. And so that set off a massive, massive crash. Now, there's a lot more to this story happening 
behind the scenes. And we definitely haven't seen the full cascading impacts yet. I think there's definitely going to be much more that comes out in the aftermath of all of this. Now, the founder of Terraform Labs, Do Kwan, who's the creator of this Lunatero ecosystem and the UST Algo stablecoin, is probably going to be in some hot water as well. For starters, he was aggressively attacking people on Twitter that suggested that UST might be built upon a Ponzi scheme or that there might be vulnerabilities in it, that somebody could potentially short it or attack it, just like the British pound was attacked by George Soros. However, despite all of the warnings, Do Kwan was always posting on Twitter right up into the last moment. Now we haven't heard from him for the past couple of days, really since Luna completely tanked to zero and this whole thing absolutely blew up. He did indicate at one point that they thought they could save it, but it was already in its death spiral and I really don't think there was much they could have done. They didn't have nearly enough collateral to maintain the peg, UST to USD, and so I don't really know if there's anything else they could have done at that point. Now there are some theories about what started all of this. Some people are suggesting that major hedge funds like BlackRock or Citadel took out a short position and then kicked off the, the bank run by dumping UST and removing liquidity from liquidity pools that had been created to prop this thing up. The two hedge funds that are actually mentioned here have denied that they were a part of it, but somebody definitely shorted Luna and made a huge sum of money off of it. Now, I don't really know how to feel about the fact that somebody made a fortune by shorting Luna, by setting off all of these events in motion and by totally crashing the crypto market. On the one hand, the people that lost their life savings is absolutely devastating and you have to feel sorry for them, absolutely. Um, and honestly, I think that people should or maybe somebody will go to jail as a result of this because Luna was essentially a giant Ponzi scheme. Now, on the other hand, you have to think that this was actually on track, the UST stablecoin was on track to becoming one of the major pieces of collateral and liquidity in the entire cryptocurrency industry. And if given long enough, it would have reached a point where its failure might have meant the failure of the entire industry as a whole. So in a way, it's like the cancer was cut out before it metastasized. Now moving forward, like I already mentioned, I really don't think we've heard the last of this and there probably will be more ripple effects moving forward. However, with the fact that crypto prices have decreased immensely over the past seven days, but also over the past six months, I feel like we're really in the middle of a bear market here, but maybe closer to the end of it. Because we're reaching a point where cryptocurrency could be considered to be oversold, especially given the fact that the ETH 2.0 merge is going to happen sometime in the next few months. And as I've already discussed on several other videos on the channel, that is going to be an extremely bullish catalyst for ETH. So who knows, it is possible that fortunes could be made coming out of this. And if you invest in Luna or if you put money into the Anchor protocol, I'm sorry for your losses unless you manage to get out, but you have to remember that it's important to just survive. And this tweet here puts it the best, I think. The bull market rewards those who survive through the bear market. To survive the bear market, you must be a cockroach, impossible to kill. <laughs>